If you are supposed to start recruiting any professionals and you have no clue where to start, in this short video, I'll walk you through different IT roles and their responsibilities, all right? So that you know what keywords to use and how to find these IT professionals on LinkedIn or Google or GitHub. All right, so I'll walk you through the mind map, which is inside this uh, booklet of um, all these IT recruiter mind maps. Okay, the mind map with the IT roles is on the page number 18. Okay, so if you have your booklet, awesome. If you don't, no worries. I'll share my screen now so that you can get a glimpse of it. We will start with software engineers or software developers, uh, if you'd like. Okay, so you can see on the mind map that the uh, software engineers break down into a few categories. So it starts with those who use uh, website builders and content management systems, but we will focus specifically on those who build custom websites because these are usually in demand. These are the professionals that so uh, that IT managers uh, need to onboard to customize their websites or build some APIs on the backend. Okay, so. Long story short, just look at these uh, um, IT professionals. So front-end developers, back-end developers, and full-stack developers or engineers. The front-end developers use certain frameworks to build the websites. And the most popular framework these days is React and Angular. Okay, so these two frameworks. It's hard to choose one, so software engineers usually, usually choose one of the two frameworks, either React or Angular. And these are very important keywords because based on these two keywords, you can find front-end developers on LinkedIn or on GitHub, all right? Um, number two, we can look at uh, backend web developers. So those are IT professionals who build some business functionality, some APIs on the backend, and they use one of the common programming languages. Think of a Java language or C Sharp or Python or JavaScript or TypeScript. And these are very important keywords because again, based on those keywords, you can find people who build backend systems okay so use some of these keywords the other category consists of full stack web developers and those full stack developers usually take care of both the backend system as well as the front end part of the website and then you need to combine keywords uh, into a more complicated boolean search so if you need more help with regards to the boolean then join the tech recruitment academy because we go really deep in how to combine different keywords how to find it professionals based on these uh, skills okay so if this uh, is something you need to help with then join the tech recruitment academy the other category that I would like to bring to your attention consists of uh, QA engineers. So the QA engineers usually help web developers to test the functionality. QA stands for quality assurance, and those professionals help web developers to make sure that there are no bugs, no issues, no defects. The important keywords with regards to test automation is a framework they use, for example, Selenium, or a tool called Postman. So you can just combine these keywords again together with testing or QA, which stands for quality assurance. But I don't want to overwhelm you with all these keywords. So if you'd like to take it step by step, then join the Tech Recruitment Academy and you will have lots of examples, lots of case studies so that you know how to actually effectively find those QA engineers. The third category that I would like to bring to your attention is a group of product designers. These product designers uh, consist of people who take care of the user interface and user experience. We've been recruiting product designers who have both skills at the same time, and that's okay. As a recruiter or talent acquisition specialist, you just need to kind of combine these keywords to one search, okay? So you can look for either people who have the user interface skill or user experience design skill or both. So you come up with a more complicated Boolean. 
The next category consists of cloud and DevOps specialists. So if you are like me, then you also want to help companies find the right people who are up to date with regards to the latest uh, tools and uh, skills, right? And that's what also DevOps specialists do. They help web developers, QA engineers, they help them to use the latest techniques and automate the functionality. So you can look for the um, cloud solutions, for example, Amazon Web Services with the keyword or acronym AWS, or um, Azure, for example, from Microsoft, that's another cloud. So if you are supposed to find the cloud or DevOps specialists, then just choose uh, the right cloud um, shortcut or abbreviation or in case of Azure that's a word you know Microsoft Azure or the phrase together with Microsoft and Azure but anyway long story short there is a lot of different options on how you can combine this to one search so again if you need more help join the Tech Recruitment Academy and the last on this list consists of data and business intelligence specialists. These are in high demand as well. So if you are supposed to find data uh, specialists, then just uh, break it down a bit further. Okay, you may need to find data analysts or maybe data scientists or maybe data warehouse specialists. So based on who you are supposed to find, you also need to use the right keyword because these professionals use different keywords or skills, so to speak, right? So as a recruiter, talent acquisition specialist, you need to focus on the right keyword on their profile or resume. So for example, with uh, the data analyst, just focus on people who use Tableau or Power BI. Those are tools that they use to visualize the data. Data warehouse specialists use, for example, the uh, programming language called PL slash SQL. So this is a very important keyword to use in your search. And the last category uh, or subcategory, if you will, consists of uh, the data scientists. So these people usually use uh, Jupyter tools or frameworks or notebooks, as they call it. Uh, they use uh, Python or R language. So you can use these keywords in your search. And this is really very cool um, about IT. This is what I like and enjoy about IT recruiting. There are so many different tools, but that's also what makes the job of a recruiter cool and uh, fresh because uh, the tools keep changing. So you also need to stay sharp and update your search strategy. So the IT industry is growing, it's booming. And if you'd like to get into the tech world, if you'd like to become more confident with regards to finding and screening candidates, then join the Tech Recruitment Academy. For the last five years, we've been helping people from the United States, from Canada, from the UK transition to IT recruiting to the IT industry. And you can start working for high tech companies. You can start working for staffing agencies that work with those high tech companies, or you can even start working as an independent recruitment consultant. There is an abundance of opportunities out there and it's up to you just to learn how to do it, find a few clients to work on for and uh, earn money as a tech recruiter. You can earn commissions for hired candidates. So as I'm saying, the opportunities are endless. So just join the Tech Recruitment Academy and I hope to see you inside some of our live sessions.